Hello to family, friends and followers. Great to have you here for another video. This one we're going into the kitchen. Uh, it's a nice wet day outside, we've got some glorious rain falling. So it was time to come in and do a video preparing a, one of our favourite meals. We always love Mexican in this household. Uh, so we're going to do one of our favourites which is quesadillas. So these are the basic ingredients for our quesadillas. Uh, we have the flour tortillas. We have a, a Mexican spice mix that we mix ourselves now. This is a combination of uh, pepper and salt, oregano, cumin, onion powder, ground paprika, and cayenne pepper being an optional uh, ingredient depending on how spicy you like it. We enjoy our Mexican and we always like to have it uh, nice and spicy here. Uh, and you can vary the amount of cayenne pepper depending on your level of tolerance for heat. Continuing on, we have uh, some uh, freshly collected coriander or cilantro, depending on what part of the world you're in. Uh, link above to the video of us setting up our uh, herb garden and our veggie garden. Uh, grated cheese, corn kernels. Uh, and that's the base ingredients to begin. Uh, so we're now just going to stir the spice mix around. You can see uh, what that then looks like. This is a lovely flavour, traditional Mexican flavour of course. And can be used in so many dishes, including tacos, enchiladas, whatever else takes your fancy. Okay, as we move on to the next stage, an apology for the first part of the video with the uh, rumbling noise in the background, we forgot we had the dishwasher on, so we've taken care of that. Um, so what we're preparing here is a beef quesadilla. Uh, you can do chicken, you can do um, vegetable as well. Uh, so our ingredients there, uh, we're using some jarred garlic because one, I forgot to get some fresh garlic when I went shopping, and two, we haven't planted any garlic as yet, but uh, that certainly is on the, on the plans to add to the veggie garden. Um, some olive oil, some tomato paste, some good quality mince, uh, an onion, and a red capsicum, or a bell pepper, depending where you come from. Uh, so, nice size uh, and good quality. Bell pepper, one of my favorite vegetables. I'm going to start by uh, cutting up an onion. I'm just going to show you the technique that I use which I learned from uh, Jamie watching Jamie Oliver uh, videos and TV shows. So uh, he has a really good technique. First one is uh, top and tail the onion. The unfortunate thing about onion scraps is that it's one thing that we don't give to the chickens. They're not overly um, fond of it and it's actually not really good for them, I believe. So uh, that's one thing that doesn't go uh, into, our, into our chicken bin. Uh, just another point as well, you might see that we're using a green board here. We have color-coded boards uh, within our kitchen, and this is a throwback for when Julianne were in a cafe. Uh, so the green board is for vegetable, uh, fresh vegetables, and that's the only thing that ever gets cut on this board. So there's never any raw meat, cooked meat, or any other product that goes on this one. This is purely for vegetable matter, and to make sure that we don't get cross-contamination issues. So once you've topped and tailed it, cut it in half, take off the amount of skin on the top layer that you're comfortable with. I usually take that off and have a look, and that one's actually pretty darn good. Sometimes you have to take the top layer of skin as well if it's a bit, also a bit dry. So the next step is that we're going to cut uh, a series of cuts along the length of the onion, but not all the way through. Yep. So it's going to, there's going to be a piece of the onion here that's going to hold all those strips together. And that makes it a lot safer and allows us. Now the distance apart that you do those cuts will determine how big the, the pieces of onion you're going to end up with. So I'm just going to do a couple of cuts showing you how you can end up with really small pieces. Uh, and you can see that that onion at the back is holding them together. So you can end up with a really fine dice of the onion really quickly there. For this recipe, we actually need it to be quite chunky. So I'm going to make the, the pieces larger so you can either vary the sideways cuts or how far back you go. And then once you get to the point where you have got that solid piece, then it's a matter of turning it on its side and then cutting it up. 
up here. Just to show you the uh, difference by doing less cuts on the first step, making them further apart, I can then end up with larger pieces, which is more in line with this recipe. And using that technique, it is very quick and quite safe. As long as you're curling your fingers away from your knife as you're cutting, to get it under chopped up. So thank you, Jamie Oliver. You've always been an inspiration for me, and I love watching your videos. Um, the other thing too is the recipe that we're following, link down in the description below. Um, one of our favourite online uh, sources of, of uh, fantastic recipes. Simple, fast, tasty and very effective. And you'll see those uh, from the link. Okay, preparing the bell pepper. So this one has to also be diced, so into quite sizable chunks. Uh, my favourite way for uh, bell pepper is I look for the flat surfaces and I'll take it sideways along and get a nice flat piece from there. If there's any pith inside, you can certainly take that out. Any seeds. The interesting part, if you're ever dealing with chilies, that's where the heat is, in, the, in that pith. So if you want the flavour of chilies but you don't want the heat, uh, by taking that, that central part out can be a way of getting that. You can see now with that bell pepper, look at me, I'm starting to talk like an American. <laughs> with this capsicum, and then you can get almost like steaks. These roast up and fry up really good on the, on the grill as well. Shadow agrees. And just by working my way around, I can then end up with pieces. And the beauty of cutting them that way is they'll sit nicely and flat, nice and flat there for me to then uh, dice them up. The end bit, you can do that. And that, for chooks, is solid gold. They love this stuff. There's seeds for them to feed on. Um, and it uh, mushes up really nicely. But that is definitely going in took home. And there you have it, completed quesadillas with uh, sour cream and guacamole on the side. Um, very tasty, very simple recipe. I'm um, looking forward to sitting down and, and eating them. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for coming along. Please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're enjoying the channel, please subscribe. It uh, helps build our channel and helps us to encourages us to get more videos out there. So um, hope you enjoyed it. Give it a try one time and uh, good cooking and good life. Bye for now.